hundred percent. Yeah, okay. Um ninety percent. Okay. Hello everybody, this is Ira and what I'm just going to show you is how to solve word math. Last video I told you I know how to type word math computer. I'm going to show you how to solve it. Okay. This is how you solve word, uh, word math or word arithmetic. And, only, and this is so easy. Only had to do in a situation like this, you had to find a formula called H lookup. It's when you, uh, well, I don't understand, you know about H lookup, look up, and you just type in the guessing game and numbers and all that stuff. I uh, had to show you from another problem, which is down here how that works uh, in this problem let me go straight and down a little more it says doll divide by yelled equals Lee yeah doll divide by yelled equals Lee and this problem is easy to solve because you don't have only you have here at the bottom when I break it down show you how to I'll tell you about the multiplication and subtraction because doll and Lee had two repeated letters and you don't have to write are uh, not a, a third or a fourth multiplication table, it's just two multiplication tables because Doll and Lee have both endings with double letters. And however it's the subtraction remains the same. Basically, one is different and how to show how to show it. Okay, the easiest way to solve word math on computer is that I to um. Hold on a second. I'm trying to show you about one twenty-five. Yeah, it's bigger now. So yeah, so. There are going to be some changes. I hope you catch up with it. Um, above here, I, and you, hi I highlighted. I got to change the text to dark, um, dark red because I want the numbers and the letters different text, and it's easy to. Put um, go up here and change the text color for me to make sure the numbers and the letters are separate first step you have to do is change any color you want as red or blue or whatever the color you want just change it to a darker color it might help you see better and I'm going to do that here. So I picked dark red, um, and um, change the text colors. You just click on the one of the rows that the lines are uh, on top of. Let at, at the the letters. I'll show you if this was five, and the last was show, and it's above the the letter. So number five is dark red. 
Okay, so the whole entire row is red. Red text because I want red text for the numbers. And let's and the letters the numbers will be red uh, text or any color you want to choose. The letters will stay black. Yes, so there's the easiest way to solve this without using pen or paper. I just found out the formula about that. Uh, some YouTuber showed me how to how um, how to understand understand how to put some. Well, it's not word maps; it's cryptograms, but when it's easy for me to type crypto uh, cryptograms I use a, a formula put one at the formula and it's called the, the formula was called V no H lookup H lookup means horizontally lines like you do this horizontally like this. Yeah, the second column will be in horizontal as well. So H lookup and a formula will be confused. I I'll show you. So go to D here. Matter of fact, put say D is like you and you type in eight. Seven, oh, seven, and you go down here, and you go to type. What is this? Equal H. Look up. Okay. H look up. Okay. So. Right down here, uh, well, right up here, the number on the box is C36. So you want to find out what C37 the number is. So that's C37. And what is the range? What is the horizontal range? Forget this top part forget this part with the numbers you can just add this manually it's right here it's starting at D so what I'm doing is drag my cursor and go down and you see this range from N30 to W31 and you put a comma on it and you want the second row now, trick part of this is that I'm gonna put some dollar signs in it between the end, front of the end, and be between the end and thirty. Same thing for the W thirty one. So start at W and between W and thirty one. Okay, I type in two because I want to know about the second. Want the numbers uh, orchestrated in the second column, which I put seven on top of D. So it's D seven. Then you put a comma. Then I type the word false. And hi. And high parentheses and there. You see the seven down here, a top of doll, a top of letter D. That's how you do it. Now, I'm gonna delete this seven up here. 
and let's see what and the seven and top of the D of from doll is gone now pick by seven and enter now go to here with this do this do I'm going to go on to about 150 right here and click on cop either right so I'm going to click my right on my uh, right key on my cursor and click on copy then I highlight the everyday and go paste now you see another seven on this second doll the word on D on the word doll a second seven these NA's um, when it says not available not once you just delete these okay Same go okay, same goes to here. Here now go down here and click right and paste. Click right and click paste for the E, which is at the bottom. And you click paste until you see seven and see you see seven doll right here. You s click and paste here that means there's nothing no zeros or nothing so we just not move on okay I'm doing the slow slow pace pace Okay, I'm moving the subtraction. You can see seven right here. Right here. Seven. Okay. And I'm stuck. Pace. Okay, every single one might have a formula in each column. I gotta test it out. Click paste. Click paste. Click paste. Click paste. Okay, you see it's seven at the front. I'm sorry, a seven on this, this last problem here. On top of D on the last column, the once column. Paste. Click. Paste. Okay, you see another seven at the. And that'll be our last seven. Okay. Seven is not the answer. Once so far, it's not seven. So it's just an example. So I'm going to go back to 100 and I'm going to delete. Now you see all the sevens are gone. Sorry. Now you see all the sevens are gone. Now I'm going to test it out first for the rest of the letters. Let's say is this for L come to think of it the letter L if you look at your multiplication table uh, multiplication problem right here where it says doll times L equals doll so that's your first clue because anything times the number any number times one it's itself it remains the same. It, it doesn't change. So, 
what I'm going to do is see if L is actually 1. And you see bunches of L's on the screen. On the screen. So 1 is going to be L. And I'm doing this at the top. I'm do, I just typed in the word L uh, in one because on bottom of one because I'm doing this manually on what's up top of here. This is you press the this is things at the bottoms and the given words because that's the formula based on this problem. The formula is right here. The given letters. Okay, so since one is is true for us them, so here's another clue. In the subtraction area, the fir the first problem in the subtraction area, D and the L's, yell and doll. The last two L's. Let's go to watch count first, and I'm going to highlight. So we're same track. Okay. One minus one, or L minus L equals F. So whatever minus the same letter gives you nothing. So in my theory F could be zero. Yeah, it could be zero. So I'm gonna put down zero for F and we go back to the thing yep. It's zero, right? So, F is, is indeed zero. <laughs> and the only DC Fs that are half zero in him is right, right here. Right here and on this subtraction plane. There's no zeros in the multiplication table, so. So, we now found that this is F. Now I'm doing this manually. So we only have is FL for 0 and 1. F is 0, L is 1. Now let's see what else we can break part of this. It can help us. Hopefully. Hmm. This could be two, but I don't think so. You see the FL it will be two, but as I'm looking um I'm not at that yeah last subtraction problem. C says what's one what is R times L equals L. You think itself it, it, it could be true too. But it isn't. Because I think this O minus A is D. Um O minus A equals D. I think the O is smaller number than an A. So the D must be larger. So in get that R you have to borrow R and from a larger num for a bigger number from a smaller one. So the R could be three, not two. We don't found two yet, but it, it could be three. So let's don't don't press nothing from here. Just go up here when you find R. And you 
type in 3 and I put R manually in this right place and if you get this but you don't see um, no R in the multiplication tables that's not gonna give you help uh, hmm so what else could help so what we have is O L and R on dirt the dirt letters so let's see what else we can do to sell crack this um, case hmm right here I'm at the middle subtraction before I, I do something I must put another dash on it okay that's subtraction okay um here's something interesting I'm at the Miller subtraction thing here. Um, as you can see, you see F minus A equals R. There's another F between it, and this F is not equal to zero. It represents ten. So, because zero is not is smaller than E to get you z oh whatever the big large number small number is so it's as another F and you got A so if F is 0 and R is 3 would you think it would be 7 here No, that's not it. because there's another reason why F could be something else. Uh, no, not F. A could be something else. It will be close to seven is six. So I think about I think A should be six. If we type A for six, okay. Now, now I'm getting somewhere. A is six. Some catch up with my mind. So if A is six, so that means that A is six. So we're gonna manually type A onto the answer answer column now let's check for another clues for this ah I'm on the second subtraction problem 6 minus 1 is what it can't be 5 because you had to borrow something f from the 5 so it's gonna be 4 4 Don't press anything on this line. It, 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 it's going to be 4. So we look for I. You type in the word 4. Letter, number 4. I'm sorry. Number 4. And. Hmm. Okay. It seems I miss a function over here so I just paste it paste it copy okay hmm for so we didn't find E so what we have is F L blank R blank blank A seven eight nine we still didn't find no Clues, but we, we get to the point. Something. E. 
Oh, and I also... Paste, didn't paste this either. Sometimes made mistakes like that. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere four zero something, right? Hmm. Okay. Four. This we had to know what ten minus something from e to zero. And whatever this gives you six. Here, let's go look look for e. Let's look for the look at the first subtraction here. Whatever this is, give you six. But it's still from from here e at all. And I'm looking at the second subtraction in this. doesn't help at all but some how I'm in a little tight squeeze so we do have all the numbers this this is is, is con I think we had a little guesting game going on here going on here and I'm gonna see if hmm, a guessing game it's, but maybe if we go to this, this second problem here since this 0 minus F it, 0 or F minus E equals zero here. Okay, you need to know your t how to subtract ten. Uh, two numbers that can subtract from ten. You know it's one to nine, and it's not five. So you got two, four, two, three, four. Six, four, six is already picking, so it's two, three, seven, eight. Two, three, seven, and eight. Hmm. This could be hard. Solve it. I, I'm, I'm guessing two, three, seven, and eight. Seven and eight here. So what could be two, three, or seven? So I may look. Okay, the only and I'm in the side middle of this subtraction here. You see my cursor moving. The only factors that can you can take away 10 from is 2 8 7 or 3 3 is already been given so it's not 7 or 3 so it could be 2 and 8 if I'm guessing it right one of these could be 8 and one of these could be 2 so I think eight will be E. Let's hope so. I, I think eight will be three. So no, eight will be E. So manually put E on the three and and I right, was right. Huh. Yeah, easy quick. Easy quick. Uh, now that's right. 
right before I get to start it. So a will be O will be two. Now I guess you see twos and six. Okay, now I'm getting getting somewhere. I'm guessing, okay, you see this second subtraction here? I mean, <laughs> this second multiplication here? Now, if you have a calculator, divide 8 from this big number. In fact, we're going to have a calculator right here. And you can see the calculator. So, all you have to do is press type in one four four one six eight eight divided by eight, and you get five two two one. So, five is D. And you put D here on the five. Ah, now did something. Only two left is K. Ah, now this is easiest. This is the easiest one. To Don't forget to put two. No, is O. Oh. And four is I. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You don't have to solve the rest of the locations if there's two or more, two or more letters missing it gives you a clue how to solve it so this y could be 9 <laughs> I'll repeat this is 9 and as you can see is 9 so 9 is y and for the k that could be 7 Okay. Florida Key. That's that's the answer. Florida Key. And you're gonna need to check it by. I'm gonna s s make this big. Florida Key. Yeah. By going straight down and check the multiplication and the set subtraction. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to remove grid lines, you just type move grid lines. It may be easier for you to see without them. This is the first problem I did out of my head on and this is the second problem if you are interested in uh, of uh, well it's creating your own word map problems I give you Advice. These, wherever your word is, and you had to make it a ten word, pro, a ten word or letters, ten letter word or a phrase or something like that, out of ten numbers, 
you had to make them zero through nine, and you had to make sure that every word you wrote has no repeats. And it must not have wrote no repeats, like Dahl or Lee or something like that. Find a ten word or a, a ten phrase that you can, you can think of, but with no repeats. Repeating in letters. It had to be ten different letters from the alphabet. No repeats. And if you want to interested in do the word promise yourself, I suggest you do get a graph paper and do it manually if you don't feel like doing this. I'm just doing this in the computer because it's so easy to do it and it's saving me less graph paper and less pen and ink. I think you should do it on a computer because it's so easy and you do may probably do it on Excel or Google Sheets. Just to know that you need to write a formula. As you can see here at the my cursor gonna highlight for you. H lookup. To use H lookup and the formula whatever the that letter is substituted a number for then use dollar signs to between the letter well put some dollar signs between well front of and back of and uh, dot slice at the front of and and at the end of it and the dot sign for the width for the W make sure that it's and between these two dot signs and the W and then you have to put the second column for the row no for the second row not the column second row that's V lookup H lookup is horizontally and you have to type in false for your say so you make in order to work in close parentheses okay if you want to try this word problem uh, word map problem or try this get a magazine uh, penny for yourself I just, you had to go to pennypress.com or Ordered it from, or get it from Barnes and Nobles at some at uh, the magazine shelves that have word processors and pro all that stuff. You get it from uh, Barnes and Nobles um, in person, or you can go pennypress.com. There's a website that says pennydalepuzzles.com. If you want to order it and look for when it says variety puzzles approved variety puzzles or there's a thing called Dell math logic problems it's the same company that had these puzzles uh, just you go look through them and and make sure you write the formula for it as I show you how to do it easily what you do in, in uh, Google Sheets or Microsoft Excel uh, a subscription cost I suggest you do it on Google Sheets as long as you have an account with them it wouldn't, more, wouldn't that uh, favor to you okay this is Ira signing off take care